it's impossible to say just how much McCarthy's comments about the Benghazi committee, and you just heard there, contributed to his decision. He said today, quote, they didn't help, but it was likely more than that. His withdrawal does not end the criticism of that committee, but it comes on a day when the Benghazi committee goes back on the offensive, releasing new emails that raise new questions about Hillary Clinton while she was Secretary of State. Chief White House correspondent Ed Henry has the latest. Republican Trey Gowdy today moved aggressively to get his Benghazi investigation back on track. As House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy admitted, his gaffe about the probe being tied to Hillary Clinton's declining poll numbers hurt his bid for speaker. Well, that wasn't helpful. <laughs> Liberal David Brock, head of the pro-Clinton super PAC, correct the record, pounced on McCarthy and immediately declared Democrats are coming for Gowdy next, declaring, quote, Kevin McCarthy fell for telling the truth about a political charade. Will Benghazi committee chairman Trey Gowdy be the next to fall? I said it last week and I'll say it again. Trey Gowdy should disband this sham of a committee now. Gowdy is not backing down, releasing new emails showing Sidney Blumenthal, with no expertise on Libya, pursuing business deals there while advising the Secretary of State on sensitive policy. Most striking is an email where the advisor appears to provide classified information to Clinton over her private server. Blumenthal writing that an associate, quote, spoke to a colleague currently at CIA who told him the agency had been dependent for intelligence from before naming the person over email. Gowdy redacted that name and wrote that Blumenthal's email, quote, could jeopardize not only national security, but also human lives. Blumenthal's emails to Clinton also slammed President Obama, writing, quote, Obama's lukewarm and self-contradicting statements have produced what is at least for the moment operational paralysis. Clinton is trying to move on and deal with Socialist Democratic Senator Bernie Sanders by churning out proposals moving her to the left, like today's plan to hit Wall Street by cracking down on rogue executives. And people should have gone to jail. Except she raked in over $7.3 million from the securities and investment industry in her 2008 campaign, and nearly $1.4 million this time. Then there's yesterday's flip-flop, where Clinton opposed the Trans-Pacific Partnership, despite an Obama aide recently declaring it was one of the former secretary's top three wins. That's another uh, significant accomplishment. Now, Susan Rice cited as another major Clinton accomplishment, winding down two wars. Though with the president thinking about leaving 5,000 troops in Afghanistan, ISIS overtaking Iraq, those may need rethinking as well. As for McCarthy, Clinton spokesman Brian Fallon late tonight said his key offense was admitting the truth about the Benghazi panel, but the real sin, according to the Clinton camp, is the ongoing waste of taxpayer dollars. They are clearly very happy at the Clinton camp tonight in Brooklyn, Brett, that there's this much GOP chaos. Yeah, not happy with those emails, I assume. Not. Okay, Ed, thank you.